Welcome to Phuket Extra for another week. We'll have some more images from the weekend's lighthouse market at the end of the program. But first, to today's news. The battered and bruised Sam Kong underpass construction site is open for traffic again this morning, following frantic roadworks over the weekend to repair part of the southbound roadway that collapsed after last Thursday night's rain. Southbound traffic over the weekend had been diverted towards Patong, causing traffic problems through Katu. The construction of the underpass is almost a year behind schedule and unlikely to be open before the middle of the year. The Thai government will try and persuade Facebook and Line to comply with court orders to remove content it considers harmful to peace and order. JP Mustanza reports. Welcome to the new age of censorship. Thai military officials are planning to meet with executives from both Facebook and Japanese messaging service Line in an effort to have the companies comply with court orders to remove content that the government considers harmful to peace and order. Though the government has repeatedly asked media companies to take down certain content, these companies have been slow to comply with the orders, and now officials are hoping to persuade them when they meet with executives from Facebook and Line within the next three months. Still, the military government has been swift in censoring content and have blocked thousands of websites for hosting laissez majeste content that criticizes the monarchy. And even last Friday, a former politician was arrested for sharing a video online that mocked the Prime Minister. J.P. Mistanza reporting for Phuket Extra. Malaysia is issuing a health alert about the Zika virus following a World Health Organization alarm that the virus is spreading explosively. Although the Zika virus is not lethal and usually causes light fever, rash, joint pain and conjunctivitis, with symptoms usually lasting only a week, the danger lies with the type of deformity that can affect babies of carriers. The Thai government haven't made a specific statement about the potential of the virus in the kingdom. And we'll be back with the rest of today's Phuket Extra right after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra and just a quick note to tell you that Live 89.5 are doing a daily ASEAN update called Everything ASEAN which will be a quick daily update on the big stories from the 10 Southeast Asian countries. Details at our Facebook page Phuket Live Radio. Security in Thailand's Deep South is being further tightened after rocket-like devices were discovered in Patani. Security officers found five metal pipes about 120 centimetres long, shaped like rockets, on the Hat Yai Patani Road last week. Three of them had already exploded, but the rest were still intact. The explosives had stickers attached reading Napra Army. Patani forensic officials collected the bombs and other evidence from the scene for a further investigation and say this was the first time such weapons had been used in the region and that they'd been designed for maximum impact. And the Department of Special Investigations is backing Rawai's Sea Gypsies claims to the land they've inhabited in the area for centuries. They're presenting DNA evidence from an archaeological dig in the area to Governor Jamrun tomorrow. The DSI have stepped in to solve the impasse between the local community and Barron World Trade, who are claiming they've got legitimate title documents to develop the site. Well, that's all for today's Phuket Extra. We're back again tomorrow. We'll do it all again. In the meantime, some more pictures from the relaunch of the monthly Lighthouse Market held over the weekend. Thanks for joining us.
When in Patong, make sure you get on top Phuket's new world-class day-to-night entertainment experience. Check us out at Facebook, On Top Phuket. When will we see you on top?